<laughs> We're the Forest City Knit Girls, and this is episode number four. Yay! <laughs> I'm Carrie. I'm June. And I'm Patty. And we're so happy to be doing this tonight and so excited. We have lots of exciting things to, to talk about. Yeah, we just want to share all of our knitting with you and our future knitting and our what we have on the needles and all that fun stuff. And we also want to thank all, everybody that subscribed this week and viewed our videos. And we're just so happy that you guys are enjoying yeah, this. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome to see the comments mm -hmm. and people, you know, saying how much they're enjoying it. And it's pretty cool. It is. It's great. It is. Yay. All right. All right. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah. So we're running a knit along. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if our, we talked about our knit along at the end of our last episode, episode three. Um, so we thought that we would just bring it up again because it's coming soon. It's going to start on Monday. Um, so what we decided for the knit along is that we are, the three of us are going to knit the weekender and we would absolutely love for you guys to join us and you can make the weekender as well with us, or we realize this has been, this is a pattern that's been out for a while. So um, some of you might have already made it, or maybe it's not your style. So we're just opening it up to knit any sweater with any, us. Any adult sweater. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if you'd like to join us, um, we have a group on Ravelry. So just look us up on Ravelry, the Four City Knit Girls. Um, we have two discussions on the go. We have one just for chatter. And we have another one that um, we're going to use to show off our finished objects. So we would love for you to join us, uh, go in and comment um, in one of the discussion threads and we'll share our progress with each other. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be so much fun. I'm s I've been wanting to knit the Weekender for a while. Yeah. So it's very exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, did we say when it starts and when I it ends? I was just going to say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, I should tell you that. <laughs> probably. So it starts on April 15th. So on Monday, uh, we're all going to cast on and it ends. We're going to give you lots of time. Um, so it'll end on July the 15th. Um, so that's three months. Three, three months, which should be plenty of time. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're going to pick up some cool prizes for the winner. So uh, the, it's not that you have to be a winner, but we're going to do a random draw <laughs> for anyone who's participated uh, Participated, and uh, when you show us your FOs, um, we'll pick, we'll do a random draw of everyone who has posted an FO uh, on our thread and uh, we're excited for that too. Yeah. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we already have a couple people that have joined and mm -hmm. some said, people. Actually. Yeah. They said they're going to, uh, cast on as well and yeah. it's pretty it's exciting. very exciting so it's been happy. fun chatting about everyone's yarn choices and all yeah. of that so mm -hmm. yeah so um mm -hmm. one thing um that you can do now before before casting on for the sweaters you can swatch if you like um and uh we have all done our swatches mm -hmm. so we we'd them? like to show Let's you show. Here is mine, and it's we showed uh, what we were knitting our weekenders with last episode. Yep. Um, so this is the Knit Picks Wool of the Andes, and um, I did the swatch on the largest needle, which is what it said to do, and made gauge right away. So I'm sticking with the needle size that's recommended, and I can't wait. It's pretty. Yeah. And there's the yarn. I love the color, just a plain, simple gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be nice. It'll be a good neutral to have in the closet to wear with pretty much anything. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah, I agree. All right, so mine as well is Wool of the Andes, and this is called the, I think it's Claret Heather. Anyway, we showed it last week. So it it, it has a purple, it's, it's kind of like a plum purple, and it has some tweed in it, so some flecks of, beige and a little bit of blue and some black and I think it's really pretty 
and uh, this is my swatch. I got gauge on my swatch um, using five millimeter needles. So I'm glad that I did it. And I'm really excited. Definitely. And then this is my swatch and I swatched in the, the round. Um, that's why all these little ends are here. <laughs> Looks like a little rug. Yeah, it does. <laughs> for a little dollhouse. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I am uh, casted on, or I'm using the Brooklyn Tweed in Storm Cloud. Um, and I'm really glad I swatched this because once I washed it, it actually grew um, just a little bit. So I swatched first with the 5.5 millimeter, millimeter needles, which is what the pattern called for. But then I realized um, that I needed to try the five and actually I got gauge with the five millimeter mm. needles. So I'm really glad I did that because mm -hmm. otherwise it would have been way too big. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so there we go, our swatches. Yay. <laughs> We're ready to go. We, we are. are. Can't wait to cast on. Yeah, I know, me too. An interesting point about that because when I, with this wool, um, after I swatched it, it it didn't change in size. Yeah, exactly the yeah. same size. So, so it's it's a great idea to swatch because mm -hmm. you just never know what your gauge is going to be mm -hmm. depending on the composition of the yarn and it's true. stuff. So definitely, yeah, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that's all we need to share right now for yeah, a just long. Check out our Ravelry group for yeah. more information. Everybody's on it. welcome to join. We the more the merrier. Um, we're happy to chat and talk about knitting sweaters and so. <laughs> see what yarn you're using. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So um, one other thing um, that we want to talk about is we are go decided to go to the Toronto Knitters Frolic which is on April 27th, so it's coming up, and we're so excited to so go. Excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's um, They're going to have, I think, over 50 vendors there, wow. um, and some of the vendors are um, the Cozy Knitter, um, By the Lakeside, which is Sandy. Mm -hmm. Sandy was actually recently um showcased on one of the christy glass episodes I saw that. it was so good it was and her bags are beautiful they are gorgeous oh. yeah um feisty fibers songbird yarns uh like an lace um the blue brick like it's just going to be mm. amazing mm -hmm. yeah. so excited to go yeah me too um but while we're there we thought uh we we don't have a grand prize picked yet for our knit along, so we are going to look for some special things while we're at the the knitters frolic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Find some so fun prizes I'm to sure, use for our knit along. I'm yeah. sure we'll find lots of good goodies. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. The the one vendor I'm really excited to see is a uh, Songbird yarn. Her yarn is yeah. beautiful. And if any um what she does, I follow her on Instagram, and uh, what she does is she dyes her yarn based on birds. And I don't know if anybody has seen this, but her most recent bird that I saw was the pink flamingo. I saw that. Oh, I saw so that. nice. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. So I hadn't heard of uh, this one until the other day when you were telling me about mm -hmm. it and you were showing me some of the pictures and it's all of them are gorgeous it's, and they, they are, are so cool. representative of what that bird mm -hmm. the, if she has some pink flamingo oh. I don't know maybe we'll have to get a skein <laughs> of that for the knit along because yes. it is so pretty yes yeah. yeah 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 and one for me too yes and me as well <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> hopefully she has lots yeah <laughs> Yeah, so it'll be fun, a little road trip, not too far away from, from no, home. A couple and, hours. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. go down for the day and yeah. just enjoy looking at all of yeah. the uh, amazing uh, artists and vendors and everything. So it's very it'll exciting. Great. Yeah, it'll be fun. Good. And if, um, if you go to the Toronto Knitters Frolic as well and you see us and... We'd be more than us. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'd, we'd be more than happy for you to come and introduce yourself, mm -hmm. and we can talk about knitting and <laughs> yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah, so exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome. So yeah, April twenty seventh yes. is the date. So I think we should talk about what we're wearing mm -hmm. because this is episode four that we've talked about this. Yes. So four episodes, <laughs> each time we, we come on, we talk about it, and it's finally off our needles. I know. Yay. So exciting. <laughs> yeah. 
So we were doing just the three of us a knit along of the Goldfish Memories by Casapinka. Mm -hmm. And we've all finished our Goldfish Memories. Yes, it's all done. Yay. So pretty. It's beautiful. So this is mm -hmm. the last <laughs> section that we did at the very end. Um, it's a nice little lace section, which was really simple to mm -hmm. do, actually. Yeah. It was not, it was very easy to follow. It was. Um, mm -hmm. I must say this shawl was a pleasure to knit. It was so much yeah, fun. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, not boring no. at all because every section was a little bit different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I like, I enjoyed our pace. Mm -hmm. It was nice to break it up like that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we knew that we had a certain amount to do each week and then we sort of compared how everyone was doing and yeah. Yeah. it was an, it was a fun way to knit something that's really long. Yeah. Like it's a <laughs> long, long scarf. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and they all look so different. Like when mm -hmm. you're looking at how they're just color choices, right? Makes mm -hmm. such a difference. Yeah. And they're all gorgeous. They are. I love <laughs> them all. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They're beautiful. So was, yeah, that's very exciting that we finished. Yeah. Now we're going to try to think of something else we can knit together yeah. on top of <laughs> knitting the weekender yes. and our knit along with all of you. So. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty spoiled though. Cause this, this was a perfect pattern for a knit along because it was actually written in 12 sections. Yeah. So we'll have to try to think about how we're going to we section, section it off. out for the next one. <laughs> we might have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, yes. It'll be fun. I think you're wearing something else. I am. Well. Mm. So I'm going to take this off for a sack. So Carrie's already showed hers, but when we went to Rhinebeck last fall, we bought each bought um, different kits for the Comfort Fade Cardi. And they're all different colors. June's still working on hers, so we'll see hers eventually. Um, but I finished mine yesterday. I love it. Yes. Yeah, so so nice. I'll just get up so you can see yeah. it. It was such so nice. a fun pattern to knit. So there's the back. It's love nice it. and long, covers the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels so good. Oh, it's that lovely yarn. yarn. So the yarn is from Neighborhood. Hood Fiber Co. Co. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's a, she has beautiful colors mm -hmm. and it was, uh, I think it's a hundred percent Merino. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it washed, washed up and blocked nicely. Um, and this was Andrea Mowry's pattern, uh, was great to knit. Yeah. It mm -hmm. really was. And it's a, it's a big sweater, but Again, it wasn't it wasn't tedious because it no. wasn't just you were constantly fading in color, so you were switching colors, which made it much more interesting yeah. mm -hmm. to knit. Um, and uh, and yeah, so and I think it was a top down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, mm -hmm. um, some short rows in the shawl collar. Right. So mm. if you want to learn short rows, it's a good one to try it on, it is, right? So yeah. in her mm. patterns very well explained. Yeah. I found that the doing the shawl collar, this is called a shawl collar, um, it probably felt to me like the longest part of the sweater to knit mm. because it was a lot of you you'd knit a couple rows all the way around and then you do a bunch of short rows and then for mm. every color. So yeah. but it's worth it. Yeah. It's well worth it. And if Neighborhood Fiber Co. is back at Rhinebeck this year, oh, we will I'm, all be visiting again I'm for more because a amazing, full. amazing, beautiful yarn. yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good dyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It looks Thank very Thank you. Kind. It's yeah. so cozy. Yeah, it is. I think when you, you messaged uh -huh. us to say you had it off the needles and I was like, I'm wearing mine. I've been in it all day. It's super cozy. Yeah. Very cozy. Yeah. 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 I need to pull mine out and start, uh, work, start your colors, they're, they're like looking at a sunset. Oh, yeah. they're, they're so beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had a mishap with mine. I started it and uh, I didn't do a gauge swatch first. I talked about it on our first episode. So I had to, I finished the whole body and then I had to rip the whole body out Aww. and then I kind of <laughs> lost motivation. But you guys are motivating me to pick yeah. it up and yeah, the life of a knitter. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so any other finished objects? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No, no, I think that was. 
that was it for yeah me. i don't have any to I show but i must mention that the two pairs of socks that i showed in episode three mm -hmm. i did the the q train and the shell cottage sock um and i did finish the second for each of those so i do have two new pairs of socks which is nice but nice. one's on my feet and i'm not you're not putting your leg, up on, the table. leg up on the table <laughs> And the other one I, I wore and they're, they need to be washed. So <laughs> <laughs> anyways, they're done and I'm happy about that too. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They're nice. I've seen them. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Love knitted socks. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Should we talk about our, uh, works in progress? Yeah, sure. All right. Shall we go? I'm, can I go first? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So. I am knitting the Sunset Highway by Caitlin Hunter, and I've made a lot of progress on it. I'm so excited, and I don't know how well you'll see it here, but I think it's... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, June. So nice. Look I, at I, this. That's great. Yeah. That looks great. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. Amazing. Yeah. I absolutely love this pattern. It is so much fun, and I've tried it on, and the fit is perfect. I feel like the mm -hmm. the edge is it is it just knit one pearl one like if it, it's it feels like it's got a lot of drape to it. It does. Yeah, yeah, it does. And I wasn't sure how that was going to be. It's knit three. Wait, what is it? I forget what it is. Hmm. Anyway, it was very. It it has a um. What did I, I did the Jenny's stretchy cast off. That's a great cast It is. Off. Yeah. Yeah. To me, and it's supposed to be drapey. And I wasn't really sure about it because I thought it would look sloppy. Mm -hmm. But it, on, it looks mm. so nice. The edging on this also is the same cast off. It's the Jenny's surprisingly, surprisingly stretchy. stretchy cast off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. It is. Well, mm -hmm. and it's a short amount of ribbing too. Mm -hmm. And I, when we were chatting the other Maybe day, we were wondering as well with the my swag. And mm -hmm. Right. It's short too, but it, it, just falls perfectly. Like yeah. you don't need a lot of ribbing yeah. for it. No, so you don't. She writes yeah. amazing patterns. Yeah. She it's amazing. And what I did because in the pattern it was I think it was six rows of ribbing, um, and but she said it might curl. So yeah. she said if you don't mm. want it to curl, do another five, mm. four or five. Like add some more. So I did the minimal amount. I think I did another four rows, and it's perfect. It doesn't mm. curl so far Beautiful. anyway. Um, yeah, and I'm. I love it. And one thing that I really like about this, I haven't done this before, and I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a high-low. It is. Effect. Oh, so it's lower in the back. I mm -hmm. love the shape of this sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very flattering. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that was just doing some short rows. Uh, I think maybe like an extra eight rows at the bottom. Wow. Um, yeah. And did you get through another book, Finishing the Body? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> But you read. You did. And you read I, I read one book. One book. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the amount of time it took me to knit this whole section minus the ribbing was one novel. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. Nice, too. Yeah. Thank you. You can I, have that done in no time. Mm -hmm. My goal is to have it done for the next podcast. Oh, nice. Good. And to the wear to the knitter's frolic. Yeah. I definitely want to wear perfect. it. Perfect. So. That's yes. exciting. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any whips with me. Um, I haven't had a lot of knitting time in the last no. couple of weeks. So, yeah. and the one thing that I'm working on is actually crocheting and it's a gift. So I'm not going to show it. Um, I'll sh either take a picture of when it's done or have it as a finished object the next time. But I am okay. crocheting something right now. Nice. And I haven't done any more work on my husband's sweater um, <laughs> just based on... We've had company and family functions and everything. I haven't had a lot of knitting time, no. so that no happens for me this time yeah. around. But real next time real I'm life sure. kicks in, right? I tell you, <laughs> full time job and <laughs> events in the evening. So, <laughs> yeah. anyways, um, I do. I have one, so I finished those two pairs of socks. So I cast on another one, and it's so cute. So um, so I, first of all, the pattern is called Uphill Downhill and it's by Lisa K. Ross mm -hmm. and she's running a knit along right now, but she also is offering, um, for the month of April, she has four patterns, mm -hmm. four sock patterns for $5 and she's releasing 
a new one every week for the month of April. Mm -hmm. So by the end of April, you'll end up with a four pattern. So, so this nice. is her the first pattern that she knit, or sorry, released. <laughs> and uh, and I think it's really cute. It uh, is cute. I having it's a simple enough pattern, um, and it's uh, it's very memorizable. So you can <laughs> just knit along and don't have to keep looking at your whatever your, your pattern. Um, and the yarn, <laughs> which I absolutely love, is from a homespun, uh, what is it? A homespun, homespun house, house. <laughs> right. And uh, she had a sale not too long ago. Or, her name's Molly, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and she was offering a discount on some of her uh, sock and charm set. So this is the sock set. And we think this is her colorway called Hopscotch. I think so. It's one yeah. of her very popular ones. Yeah, and I can't Beautiful remember her colors. It's, it's gorgeous. A tag in there. Oh, there it is. And then the main color is called Liquid Luck. Mm. And it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful pattern, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, and then mm. this is the little charm that came with it. It's a <laughs> little cappuccino. <laughs> Frappuccino, Frappuccino or something. Yeah, yeah. it's really cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah, so in the the yarn has I don't know oranges, pinks, mm -hmm. fuchsia, mm -hmm. maybe a even a bit. little purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, it's mm -hmm. gorgeous yarn to to work with as well, um, and it is seventy five percent merino and twenty five percent nylon, mm. and you get. 470 yards. Oh, wow. So yes. That's a, that's a big skein of, mm -hmm. of yarn. It is. So it was good value. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And good. sorry, did you say the sock pattern is based it's, off of nursery rhymes? Isn't oh, that what no. it is? Yes, you're yeah. right. It is. Yeah. So this I, one's the Jack and Jill mm -hmm. went up the hill. So that's yeah. why it's I think she downhill. calls the... Um, the bunch, the four together story time socks. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. So they all have like a story time theme. It's really cute. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she's running a knit along as well right now for her socks. So if anybody wants to join, yeah. it's, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. Mm. I, I think I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. And then I have uh, one more thing that I'm working on and it's actually a test knit, but um, I know that the designer won't mind me showing it um, but I just want to show this bag first this is another bag by uh, twisty twisted daisy fiber and mm -hmm. her bags are just so cute mm -hmm. that's really nice. they're really well made they have a nice this has a nice drawstring mm -hmm. and you know a little strap and everything mm -hmm. it's great so the test set that I'm working on is a shawl and it has I'm not even halfway through it but mm -hmm. It's uh, got, this is what it looks like. It's oh, wow. like a, thanks. Like a mosaic design. Oh. The top part, um, she calls it uh, like a pearl bump pattern. Mm. So there, there is little pearl bumps through the top part there. And then the mosaic design and then um, further along in the pattern, it'll have like it'll have a few stripes and then another um, section of mosaic design as well. Oh, okay. So it's I think it's going to be quite large. Um, yeah, and then I'm using the Uru Apple colorway mm -hmm. from Nip, which Nip is in, which is yeah. in June's. Yeah, this will match. <laughs> it blends right in. <laughs> the light color is uh, Cascade Heritage. And then the purple is, I'm just going to look it up mm -hmm. on my phone because I can't remember. I love those colors. Mosaic looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe the tag is in here. Oh, there it is. So it's called Fiber Spades. Mm. I can't even remember where I got this, mm. but I felt like it went really well with the mm -hmm. other colors that I was using and then it calls for a fourth color and I think I'm going to use this pink and the fourth the lighter pink in there that would look so nice yeah and this is a mm -hmm. cascade heritage as well very nice yeah thing. I've been working away at it I love doing mosaic stitch because or patterns because every row you mm -hmm. just use one color yeah. of yarn mm -hmm. and then you just alternate 
-hmm. your colors every yeah. other row. So mm -hmm. it's it's very fun to do. Yeah, you have to knit something mosaic. I started on the mosaic project and I, I've had a little taste of it and I loved it. But oh, and I, I forgot just... to mention, sorry, mm -hmm. the designer. No, it's okay. um, so the pattern is, is not released yet, but it's called uh, Midnight in Spring. Mm -hmm. And the designer is Cheryl Faust. And she's also on Ravelry uh, uh, studio, Knit Studio 64. Nice. Yeah. Mm. And she beautiful. has beautiful designs. Yeah. Love it. Thanks. I have another rip. I showed it last week. But I'll just show you my progress. So it is the socks. Oh, right. Yes. The, is it Paths and Pebbles? Pebbles and Pathways. Pebbles Thank and you. Pathways. <laughs> By Marceline Smith. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um... Oh, you got a lot done. I've got a lot. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. Quite a bit. So I'm doing toe up. So you're just at the heel, mm -hmm. the heel increases, right? The heel increases. Right. Yeah. So I'm just, I think I have, I don't know, maybe about another 12 rows to do, and then I can start the the actual heel. But anyway, it's been fun. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. This is a good pattern too. It's, it's quite easy to memorize and... Um, I, I like it because it's an eight row repeat, so it it seems to go quickly mm -hmm. that way. For some mm -hmm. reason, that helps me to... Changes, changes every... Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I knit that sock, too. Mm -hmm. I already did a pair, and uh, I felt like out of all the socks that I've knit, this one seemed to go by... It just breezes by mm -hmm. for some reason. It goes very quickly. It does. Which is nice. And this is the Three Irish Girls yarn? It is. Yeah, the Three Irish Girls. I can't remember the... Oh, uh, Tre Chic is hmm. the colorway. Yeah, it's beautiful yarn. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Uh, nice and soft. And uh, yeah. Very nice. Looks by the great. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> is that it for whips? That's yep. it. So I guess we want to talk about acquisitions. Okay, mm. Carrie. Yarny goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited about this. I forgot to bring it last time, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. So I've decided when I finish the, the Weekender, and I'm horrible at pronouncing names, so I apologize, Caitlin Hunter, but I'm going <laughs> to make the um, Sol Soldatna uh, crop sweater that she uh, just recently released, and I'll see if I can mm -hmm. show a picture of it. So that's the so sweater. Um, and so I went yarn shopping online to find the <laughs> colors that I wanted. Yep. And I ended up going on to uh, Miss Babs and picking out my colors. So here is what my sweater will be made of. So pretty. I love it. That is, oh, nice. So it's 100% superwash merino wool. Um, it's a DK weight. And uh, the colorways, I don't know. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. This one's called John Quill. Oh, I'm going to guess at the pronunciation of that. It's just a very pale yellow. This is going to be the main body color. Okay. Is it a little tonal? Mm. Uh, it might be a bit. A bit, it looks yeah. it. Yep, so yeah. that's going to be the main body color. So you'll nice. see the most of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then <laughs> this one's called Dark Roast, which is perfect because I love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked out that one. This uh, is Suspense. Suspense, which I love oh, my blue. Wow. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. So That nice. color is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then this one's Lost Treasure. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it kind of pulls all of the colors, it does. the solids, into, into that. Gorgeous. Love that. Good choice, Carrie. It's nice yeah. yarn, too. Mm -hmm. I know. It is nice. I cannot wait I don't know. to see this. I know. I don't know how she got her skeins of yarn wound so nice. I know. Like, they're they're perfect. like perfect. Mm -hmm. they they're feel perfect. really good. They do. <laughs> and <laughs> It was really cool because it was my first time ever purchasing Miss Babs. Mm -hmm. And so I signed up, you know, log in or whatever. And when this came, it also came with like, welcome. So glad you made your first purchase with us and a few little stitch markers. Nice. Um, and then, and I don't have it with me, also a little sample mini 
of another color just Ooh, as a little nice. thank you which was I thought was pretty cute that, that is, is nice. that's really nice mm -hmm. so yep this will be my Caitlin Hunter Soul Danta and are they all the Bebe? Bebe? Um, um yes I believe they are hmm. huh. and they're a hundred percent merino wool yeah they're really it's beautiful nice. oh and it's DK weight oh yeah. cool yeah mm. Can't wait to cast yeah. this on too. <laughs> so Weekender first. Yes, weekender yes. first. Yes. And then this is a short sleeve too, uh -huh. which will be nice because then it's, you can wear it like a lot, yeah. right? You mm. can put a long sleeve under it or whatever. So it's true. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This It'll... might be my Rhinebeck sweater. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. So that's my acquisition. Awesome. Exciting. <laughs> Did you have an acquisition, Jude? I do. Okay, so I only brought one skein. Sorry, I have to get my whole bag here. <laughs> <laughs> I have, oh wait, yes. Okay, I'll actually show both. So I am going to make a sweater for my son. And we were in Peterborough a couple weeks ago and went to a really nice little yarn shop there. And he picked this out. He did so well. Wow. <laughs> I know. That's so cute. I know. <laughs> so he, he was having a conversation with um, the the woman who was working there, and, and they were just that's scheming pretty, away. And, and next thing you know, he's at the cash register buying it. <laughs> wow. Good for him. Yeah. It was, I'm, it's, it, I'm really, it's really excited pretty. to make I it I think for him. the yarn shop, uh -huh. uh, was it called um, Needles in the Hay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Very nice yarn shop. Very nice. So, yeah, he picked out. So, this is uh, Lore. And, um, oh, that's the, the uh, name of the yarn. And it's from the Fiber Co. Oh, and okay. it is, where's the composition? It's processed in a mill in England. Oh, and it's made of 100% lamb's wool from the Romney sheep breed. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't, you probably can't see it as well on the screen, but it's like a gray with some tones of maybe tealy green. Yes. And then some brown. Yes. And some brown. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's, it's, um, it's 100% pure wool, so it's not as soft as Superwash, but it's pretty soft. When you wash mm -hmm. it too, it it may change a bit, right? That's so, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like with the Brooklyn Tweed, that's gorgeous. Because it feels not rough, but, and then when I washed it, it softened right up. I was not expecting that at all. No, yeah. I didn't think it was going to soften that much. So you're right. Yeah, and I'll show you the sweater that I'm going to make for him. I really like it. It's called the Goat Herder, and it is by Ann Bud. It's an older pattern. It came out in 2014. Um, but I just think it's really nice. So that is nice. Yeah, I think that'll look really good on them. Nice, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's this? I one? um I saw on I can't remember who's who posted on Instagram, uh -huh. um, but they were knitting with a whole pile of the lore. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh, that looks familiar, but it's because uh, you just showed this to me a couple oh, days ago. That's so, funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was interesting, but I can't oh. remember who it was. Oh. It's really nice. Yeah, it is. It nice. is nice. I love it. Yeah, and then this is uh, Knit Picks, and I bought a sweaters quantity of this to make for my daughter-in-law, so... They're going to have matching uh, sweaters because actually the colors go quite well together. They do. <laughs> they have That's to wear so them at funny. the same time. They will, yes. <laughs> I, I told them I'm going to knit them at the same time. So uh, like a little bit, I'm, I'll work a little bit on one and then a little bit on the other. And, That's a good idea. Yeah, so that would be kind of So nice. this is an interesting composition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is uh, Pima Cotton, 75% Pima Cotton, 25% acrylic. Nice. And um, the reason why I got this is because my daughter-in-law is a little bit sensitive to uh, wool uh, on her skin. So we wanted to go with something that would just be uh, really soft. And, and, and it is very soft. It, extremely soft. And, mm -hmm. and it will be washable, too, because of the acrylic in it. Um, I think it, it does say here that you can machine wash it and tumble dry. Mm -hmm. on so it'll be a really easy care mm -hmm. uh, sweater. So she wants a cardigan. And the one that she's picked out is called Madge by Katie Smith. 
This is a free pattern on Ravelry, and Love it's it. like a... It's like almost a, like a shawl. It is. Like a shawl cardigan. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. It is cute. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're going to put, like, up at the top here, we're going to put some wooden buttons. So it'll just be cute. She can, like, button it up. Oh, and... that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to making this. Yeah. Lots of projects. So is, <laughs> it, so is that a fingering weight? It is worsted. Okay. Uh, and is, mm -hmm. is this worsted? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. That's it. Awesome. Oh, good. Do you have anything else? I do. I have, um, I don't, Carrie, can you pull up the Guthrie sweater? So yep. I um, bought, when I was away, I actually visited um, a yarn store in just outside of San Francisco, and it's called the Royal Bee. And I was there last year as well, but she um, wasn't dyeing yarn at the time. So when I walked in, the store was full of her own hand-dyed yarns. Mm. And it's just gorgeous yarn. Like, it's this is a DK weight. Um, and it is, I don't know what the color is. Pie? Oh, it's called Carl Eats Blueberry Pie in the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> But I just couldn't leave. I had to leave the store with some of this because mm -hmm. I just love the color. And uh, part of the reason why is I had um, a couple of months ago, uh, Vivid um, Yarn Studio had yarn on sale. And I picked up some Ooh, skeins of this. That's beautiful. So, and I thought these two together mm -hmm. would look really well. Good. Mm -hmm. And I am seriously considering doing the Guthrie by Caitlin Hunter that with this will be beautiful. I'm gonna swatch and everything to make sure that I'll like yeah. these together mm -hmm. but I oh, I, I think, think great. I Me think too. it would go really well mm -hmm. so yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna cast this one on but it's definitely in my queue to do yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. great so I was I was very happy to find this I just love that color too <laughs> Um, this one and this one's called sugar plums, so that's really weird because they're blueberries and sugar plums. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, There's a theme. There is. They they are meant to be together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's so, awesome. I, right. That's all I have. Um, so I think that's all I have too. Okay. okay. Same here. Yeah. This is a quick one. It this is night. a quick one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically we wanted to podcast those so we could um, just let everybody, remind everybody about our knit along. Yeah. And, you know, we hope that lots of you sign up because we would love to hear from you and love to knit with you. Yeah. Um, you can check us out on uh, on our Ravelry group under Forest City Knit Girls. Mm -hmm. And we're also on Instagram. On mm -hmm. Under Forest City Knit Girls. Yeah. <laughs> and if anyone's going to the Toronto Knitters Frolic on the 27th of April, let us know. Yes. We'd love to meet up and say hi. Yes, and, mm. definitely. Come say hi. Talk about what you're knitting and what you want to knit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give us more ideas so that we'll want to knit more things <laughs> and add to our list. Always. But, uh -huh. It's a never-ending list. That's yes. right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... That's it, I think. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hope you're all doing well and happy knitting. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye.